Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Punch Club with Punch Chart. I am the Marmoset. set. So it turns out, getting to Agility 14, doable. I think once we've got a skill point, we should be able to do it. So we're at 2, 3, 4 at the moment. Time's nearly done. Let's go and see if we can't give Paunchy a punching. Right. So, we want that kick. We want that dodge. Um, I do want that. He does block. So it being less effective... Strength grows temporarily if he successfully blocks. So, 40% is less effective blocking. Headering strike. And this one, lowers block chance. That's going to be a big one. And then I will want that one. So if he does hit me, I do want to get uh, that extra damage in. Alright, let's see how we do. Full health. He's burning through his energy like crazy. Every time we successfully dodge. Ow! Ow again! Alright, it's not going that well. So technically every time we successfully dodge, our agility goes up. Knocked him down. Uh, him out of energy is good, but he recovered a huge chunk thanks to his enormous stamina. Oh, I'm glad only one of those hit. Down he goes again. Ow. Alright, so we can trade those blows for a bit. I don't know. And then him being out of energy. <laughs> yeah, that absolute massive meat hook of a fist he's got doesn't help. <laughs> now we've got another broken arm. Ooh, we're getting our ass handed to us a fair bit here. Need to go and heal up again, I'm afraid to say. Traveling by foot. Oh, let's uh, go to that one, see if we can get a health up. Hmm. Not tempted to do the dark fist given the current state we're in. Do need to eat, but I suspect we can probably sleep first and get that full. Our mood's still pretty good, despite that we've got our ass handed to us again. Yeah, 336 out of 117, so to avoid... I'm going to just try and have to push through this one, I'm afraid. I'm not going to take the next fight, but I'm going to, have to commit and carry on with our training regime. To do that, we need food. Yeah, probably overcooked that a little bit. I think I probably could have meat meat pizza rather than meat meat meat. Right, and with that in mind, we should go to the city map. Take a trip to see Roy. Hey Roy, shall we train? Have I banked enough previously? I have indeed. Roy's help. Roy's help is always very useful. Let's not waste any of Roy's time. Get on the punch. Uh, no, that doesn't work because we've hurt ourselves. Uh, that one. No, that's also arms. All of these things are arms. Damn. Oh well, I suppose some training is better than no training. And essentially Roy is probably pretty much cancelling out the broken arm right now. Actually, the only thing that's legs in here is the treadmill. <laughs> Possibly this. Which is kind of annoying. Yeah, that's a leg exercise. Technically I suppose that's leg, but it's also arms as well. So that should bring me up to stamina 5. I should jump on that one. Yes, it skip and kind of freak out. It's like, you okay, Punch Charge? You kind of glitched out quite badly there. You need to absolutely, when you get to these high levels, you need to absolutely push getting this higher one up, don't you? We are just going to keep training. So we're out of love, so we're going to start running through these much, much faster. Just going to keep training and training and training and just train our way through our broken arm. Conveniently, Roy is running just the time we're bored of skipping. So we'll leave. And go here. And give you a gift. Because that's how I buy your favour. 
by literally buying your favourites. And then we will chat. Bit of a stuck in a rut here. Then we might try and pick on a turtle or a crocodile next, I think. Yep, in love. All in love. Yay! I'm happy too! <laughs> Roy, do you want to train? I know we just came for the gym, but you have some important catch time. Silver's gym. Good. Alright, we'll do the usual trick. We'll take the bus here. We will stuff the food in our face. We'll grab that to max that out. Doink. And then eat meat and a couple pizzas. Everything is now absolutely full. City map. To the gym! And damage to our arms be damned. We're gonna get stuck in on this. Yes, Roy, I won't stop. Even though my arm is hideously broken, I will not stop. Alright, so that was essentially a neutral one. <laughs> yes, I know there's another fight today, but we're picking a fight with a crocodile today. In hopes that we might get enough skill points to buy something interesting. This one. Real meaty thump when he hits that punch bag. Not much I can really say about this, it's just in case we're going to run out of Roy again, so we'll be dashing off with that one. Yep, I imagine you are pretty bored of that. Just get up on the treadmill for you. Alright. Today's gonna take over, do the usual trick. Off we go back to Rory's house. Already in love for a few days, only one more day of broken arm. Roy, do you wanna go back to training? But Yep, car is still broken. Yeah, I'll help you with your car. The day will take over, we'll lose a chunk of our progress. I don't know what percentage it works out. Yep, so it's great that you're helping me. Thank you very much. Gonna sit. Let's go training, Roy. That's all we do, our entire relationship. I spend more time with you in the gym than I do with my girlfriend. Yes, we've got Roy's help. City map. Travel back here by foot. So we've got. I'll eat all the pizzas. Eat the energy drink. Or drink the energy drink. And we'll head to the gym. Go into the gym. Alright, so let's see if that's ticked down again since the last time we were on it. Alright, so it's not completely refreshed, so we immediately go and start ticking down again. That's fine. Some big chunk of cash will let us work out quite a bit. And we have burned pretty much all of the food in the fridge. So we're going to have to go back to work for a bit. Still, broken arm is about to go away. Happy days. You done with this? You should be done with this nearly. You nearly done with this? You're done with this! Get Roy's timing to last a little bit longer. 2.13.5 I think is a half decent build. Get back on that for a bit. I'd love to get this up to 14. And then go pick a fight with a crocodile. And there goes the broken arm at last. 
Just in time for us to run out of running on that one. Let's grab the hammer and tongs. I won't stop, Roy. I'm just going to carry on until we get to get that to 14. Or at least until we can no longer be in the gym. You're going to stand there and watch me manfully, Roy. This episode, this episode is about training. Endless, endless training. Try to, there, I hope there will be a fight in this episode. It's the best I can do to promise you that. There's a question it might take a while. <laughs> we are actually going to run out of food before we get this up to 14. So close, so many times. I just don't want to resort to yet more magic potions, because the game is pretty much warning me that bad things are eventually going to happen. Magic potion yourself out too much. No, it looks like 213, but it looks like getting these ones up is going to be okay. Alright, fine. I will concede defeat that getting that up to 14 is not going to be easy until we get the Rice Eater upgrade. So with that in mind, let's go pick a fight with the turtle. Crocodile. Thing in the sewer. Special pizza. Business is going well. I would like to try some special pizza. Yes, it would be tasty. Yep. <laughs> Revenge, pizza, greetings. Remove brown nose kick. Put venomous strike on. Well, that was a huge amount of punchings. Wow, that's a big combo. <coughs> You don't have much resistance to this, do you? Alright, I'm just going to carry on with that. I don't think we were any immediate energy problems. Now we are. You have a lot of armor. It's even with my armor piercing on. Alright, so now I'm out of energy. The goal is to try and survive the rest of this round. There we go. There's me getting on my kick on my ass. Alright, so let's drop that. Bring in that kick. He's got lots of more energy than me. Uh, so let's drop Mimic for Skip. Look at that, just stacking up. We should keep it 74, 75, 80. We're gonna. Oh, it's so close. Would have had an 80 combo there. But yeah, you're going down, my green friend. We have defeated Steve! I think it was Steve, yes. Good fight! Beat Steve, you beat it! <laughs> Can I call you Dundee now? Yes, very well, Crocodile Hunter. Nothing was a great honor to fight against you. It'd be great if you could pay for all the pizzas I delivered. All your base are belong to us. Hmm. Big chunk of cash would mean I wouldn't have to go pizza delivering for a while. Great honor. Well, let's be the character that we are, which is a man who's dedicated to fighting. <laughs> Thinks you are the chosen one. You hear distant groaning. It's a raccoon. It's a raccoon! Tail strike. You know a powerful skill. Tail strike. There's only one problem. You don't have a tail. Hello, master. How did you become so mutanty? <laughs> Happening finally. Oh dear, an evil genius. He has not disappeared forever. The capitalization on the the. <laughs> mm, insidious. <laughs> yeah, I beat them all. <laughs> I don't like to swim. <laughs> Time to avenge Fluffy.
Fair enough. Underwater base. Sewers. Alright, fair enough. So I got that as an option. Can't really talk to you anymore. So we have an underwater base. <laughs> well, we're in reasonably good health right now. Let's uh, let's go and investigate, shall we? Yes, yeah, so apparently I can get the bus there. Look at that armor. Ultra power! Oh, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> um, let's run skip attack with Cobra Strike for a bit. Okay! That was a one punch knockdown! Guys in power armor! <laughs> Is Mac. You need to assemble power armor. Yes, because I just took a 154 punch to the face. <laughs> that stung. That stung incredibly. That's not the button we want. There's a ranch out of town. Let's go and have a chat with Mac. Hey, are you Mac? <laughs> no idea what this is a reference to. Did you say raccoon? Yes. <laughs> Evil genius, power armor, bad guys. <laughs> I've been told that you might be able to help this shirtless man in a mask. <laughs> Indeed! Yes, I'm way ahead of you, Mac. <laughs> At night, and sometimes during the day, <laughs> I am the Dark Fist. <laughs> Never heard of you. Prove yourself, alright. You need to gain max trust. Alright. <laughs> I've proven enough. I'm pretty tired of proving myself to people. <laughs> well, you didn't prove anything yet. Okay, how on earth am I meant to gain your trust then, Mac? <laughs> Interesting, alright. Uh, not that one. Let's try the story tree. Need to gain max trust. Well, I have no idea how we're going to do that. We can carry on being the ultimate brawler, I suppose. But can't do that until we're in a state where we actually have some health. So, with that in mind... These actually have icons on them, you know, so you should be able to get around them, but no, 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 I can't figure my way around that. We need to go shopping, because I'm pretty sure we are nearly entirely out of food. Yes, we are out of food. And now we're out of money. Back to the flat we go. Not enough health to risk a dark fist fight right now. I know I'm afraid I need to eat before I can sleep. That should give me enough money, give me enough food to get through the night. Or at least the small amount of time that Punch Jard actually spends asleep. So it was nice to actually win a fight for a change. Got a few skill points out of it. Let's get him up to full energy. Stuff some food in his face. That'll do nicely. Well, you never know. Let's finish the episode off with a dark, fight, a dark fist fight. We've got a decent amount of health. We're back to Chinatown. I am Dark Fist! You won't cry beatings now! Yeah. Alright, so you do block. Let's run with that rig for a bit. Right, so we have got him poisoned. You do like to block a lot, don't you? Even though with my armor piercing. Hmm. Alright, so let's dish that one and bring in... Oh, I pushed the wrong button there. Alright, let's rebuild. Do want that one because the guy blocks so much it's annoying. 
um, those two, and probably counterattack. There we go, let's get some damage in. Pair that up with this. Oh, you're a brutal amount of kicking going on there. But we are going to get knocked on our ass for a little bit. The rest of this fight is pretty much going to be a washout. We're just not going to have any energy. Alright, uh, let's drop the counter-attack and put Skip in. Lucky we're gonna get. Not lucky enough. That was a close one. So that middle round went a bit odd because I think possibly I should have. All right, that his build, that block build of his, is really, really vulnerable um, to my drop kick. Um, I was able to do a lot more damage with that than I was with the Cobra Strike. So it looks like the Cobra Strike may not have been the best buy in the world, but our health is mangled, everything else is fine, which sounds like a good time to go to the gym, which we'll do in between episodes, because you've seen enough of that. Alright, I'm the Mama Set. He is Punch Jar, this little figurine over here, which is currently set in China Chinatown. This is Punch Club. Please remember to like, comment, and or subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.